Yeah, big day at the Etihad this afternoon. A controversial one yesterday at the city ground. Mike Dean, who's part of our coverage today, joins me. Mike, we all know what we're talking about. The drop ball given by Paul Tierney to Liverpool in injury time. I mean, we all make them, but very simply, Paul Tierney's made a mistake, hasn't he? Yeah, unfortunately for Paul, it is a mistake, and, it, and it's a bad one as well. Obviously, it leads to a goal eventually. Um, you know, the law states that you know, whoever has the ball last when the play does stop, the ball goes back to them. Hudson and Roy clear had the ball, and the ball should have been dropped to Nottingham Forest on the wing. But you know, I know they went and scored Liverpool. It wasn't directly straight from the drop ball. It's close on two minutes afterwards, so it, it, it's, it's a big time scale in between. So, had the whistle been blown even a second earlier after the header away I think from McAllister actually then the decision would have been correct yeah I mean then obviously McAllister would have touched the ball last Liverpool would have touched the ball last so obviously the ball would have gone back to Liverpool then but obviously the whistle went a second too late maybe unfortunately for Paul should have gone back to Forest and you know it's, it's just one of them things that, that transpires you know that gets dropped to, to Liverpool wrongly they go and score and some two minutes later you know, after a throw in a couple a corner and a chance to clear by Forest but it's just one of them things unfortunately so I mean, clearly a mistake then, but what do you make of the fallout? Because you've said it a couple of times already, there's two minutes between the drop ball and the goal. Everyone probably on that pitch yesterday made a mistake, but again, it's the referee at the centre of everything we're talking about, social media, headlines today. Yeah, I mean, there's been a big fallout, and rightly so. It's a, it's a, it's a big error by the match referee. Um, but it's just something they're going to have to live and learn from. Uh, it's a mistake. We all know it's a mistake. It does need somebody to come out at the end of the game straight away and say it's a mistake. When the chairman was on the pitch, we don't want to see things like that happen. We see what happened in Turkey a couple, a couple of months ago where you know, a referee got assaulted. We don't need scenes like that after the game. Um, obviously, Nottingham Forest are upset. I would have been upset if it had been involved with Nottingham Forest as well. Um, but unfortunately for the referee, he's made a monumental error. I think he'll know that this morning he's made a, made a mistake and, and hopefully he can rectify it in the future. Do you, you, know you said that at the start of your answer, you know, rightly so, it, that it's the centre of attention. Do you think it is rightly so? Like, again, with every other mistake that's made in between the drop ball and the goal, is it right that we focus on it one is, man? It is, because unfortunately for the referee, it's wrong in law. Uh, and if you make a mistake in law as a referee, it is, it's, a, it's a monumental error. And you know, The drop ball rule was changed, I think, uh, 2019, I think, so you don't have a contested drop ball. It was there for a reason where if a team has the ball, to say people contest for the ball again, it, drops, it gets dropped back to the, to the same team who had the ball in the first place. That would have been not good for us. They should have had the ball. Who knows what would have happened afterwards. So what do you make then of what happens after full time with the owner coming down, obviously, Mark Clattenberg in that role at Forest now, speaking to the media. What do you make of that side of it? Uh, I was surprised that the chairman came down, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. Well, he was probably to go down by somebody. I don't know. I've never seen that before in the Premier League. We shouldn't have a chairman on the pitch. As I said before, we've seen what happened in Turkey a couple of months ago, and we don't want, we don't want scenes like that in the Premier League. Um, Mark's got a job to do for Nottingham Forest. Um, I'm guessing he he's, he's goes on the media afterwards and gives his, his opinion, and rightly so, he's allowed to do that. He's probably not allowed to go and see the referee afterwards. He's not on the team sheet, I would guess. If he's on the team sheet, he's got the opportunity to go in and see, but the referee always has the power to say, I don't want to speak to anybody after the game. I mean, you'll have had it in your career. Again, everyone makes mistakes. How does a referee feel? How will Paul Tierney be feeling now? I think Paul will be, will be devastated, only because it sounds awful, because a goal came from it. You know, if it finishes nil-nil, it's not a talking point. Obviously, it is a talking point because Liverpool have won. Paul will sit down over the next few days and, and, and assess what he's, what he's done, what he could do different, what the team in general, the two assistant referees and the fourth official, could have done different to try and help Paul restart the game in the correct way. That's a point I hadn't considered, actually. So the rest of his team, the rest of the officiating team, how could they have maybe helped him, supported him um, more towards the right decision? I think if they worked out when the whistle was blown, because I know it's tough for the two assistant referees to work out, the fourth official may well have, have tried to tell Paul that Forrest had the ball and restart with Forrest, and whether Paul takes his advice or not, I don't know, but if Graham did say that, then he should have took his advice. So that's the, the feeling, is it, with the reaction to the Forest bench, that I would, actually I would the think fourth so. was directing I mean, only looking at the, the referee that, towards only, a different decision? Yeah, only looking at the picture I've seen on the TV, and I think that the Forest players were around Graham Scott, and I think Graham may well have assessed and advised Paul to say, look, it's a drop ball to Forest. They've had the ball, and when it was, you can see the reaction by the Nottingham Forest players. So whether they've heard Graham say that to Paul and he hasn't taken his advice, I don't know. But that will come out, no doubt, in the wash. Mike, thank you very much for no your problem. time. Um, Mike, part of our coverage today, as I say, and Andy, Andy Madley is the man in the middle this afternoon. Let's hope it's a quieter afternoon for him, and we're talking about the football.